Okay, so we're looking at more circles to find stresses uh, at different orientations or to find uh, principal stresses. Uh, finding, so we skipped ahead and finding the principal stresses, whoops, finding the principal stresses and maximum shear stress, those are easy, easier to do because you, you need to find those anyway. No matter what more circle you have, you know, you're, you're going to be able to find these very right and left points, these very top and bottom points. Uh, the right and left points are your principal stresses, top and bottom points are your um, maximum shear stresses. So um, a little bit harder is what we're going to do here. So write this problem statement. I didn't have it in our notes. So write it. We're going to find the state of stress <coughs> 20 degrees clockwise from the element shown using Mohr's circle. Okay. We could use those equations, those stress transformation equations. We're going to get the same answers, but using more circles allows us to know those stress transformation equations in our head. Um, we don't have to go back and look at those. We don't have to memorize those. Okay, so let's try to draw more circle. Uh, what are our, what are our, what's our process for drawing more circle? First, draw the axes. Normal stress on the x-axis and shear stress down positive on the y-axis. Okay, what are we what are we given here? Let's just reiterate what we've got. This is positive three KSI sigma y negative two and tau is negative four because it's pointed to that negative corner. Okay, so step one is axes. Step two is draw the um, starting point or the you know original point my reference point so that would be three comma negative four whoops three negative four where would three negative four let, let me kind of draw this one two three four one two, three. Um, if you space these out evenly then the the better your circle will actually be a circle. If you're on an engineering paper, you can use those uh, lines. All right, so this would be three, one, two, three, and the X, and then up, one, two, three, four. So right here is my reference point, my starting point. All right, step two, uh, the center. Center would be at sigma average uh, that would be 3 and negative 2 um, 0.5 so my center is right here all right uh, next step would be to um, find the radius which is the distance between those two points so what would the distance between these two points be if this point right here is at 3, negative 4. This point right here is at uh, 0 0.50. Uh, you, you could even use some formulas like point distance formula, you know, back, back in high school. Uh, but just be careful that this distance right here is not 3 squared plus 4 squared. This base is not 3, right? Be very careful. This base would be, uh, in this case, would be what? 2.5, right? This would be a, man, I'm having trouble here. <clears throat> 2.5. Okay, I'm, I'm fine. Th this is only 3 right here. I'm having a lot of trouble. It's too early in the morning. <clears throat> okay, let me. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, <clears throat> three comma four. My starting point is one, two, three, right here, right there. Okay, my center is at right there. And then this triangle right here is 2.5 by 4. So its hypotenuse would be square root of 2.5 squared plus 4 squared radius. 
2.5 squared, 4 squared, take the square root. Uh, that would be 4.72. 4.72. Okay. The next step what I like to do is draw, start at the center and draw off my four points. Very top, bottom, left, right. Top, bottom, left, and right. So start at center. Point five and go plus four point seven two, so five point two two to the right. So, this if I go a radius to the right, starting at point five and going four point seven two to the right, I'd be at five point two two. So, right here. But I'd also start and go to the left, negative 4.22, right there. Um, and then I'd also start and I'd go 4.72 up, 4.72 down. Here. Here. And so then I, then I would sketch... I circle as best I can. Okay. <clears throat> so there's my Moore circle. It is a circle with a radius of 4.72 centered at 0.5. Okay. Um, if it had asked for the principal stresses, 5.22 and negative 4.22 were the principal stresses. It didn't ask for that. It also, uh, it doesn't ask for theta P, but I need to find theta P. I need to find the angle that I'm starting at because in order to answer the question, I'm going to need to take this original line, this original orientation, and I need to not rotate at 20 degrees clockwise, but I need to go 40 degrees clockwise. So, but, but I need to know, if am I starting at 30? So 40 would bring it down here, or am I starting at you know 50 or 60? 40 would bring it down here. So anyway, even though it's not asking for theta p, I'm going to find theta p to find what orientation I'm starting from. Okay, so what angle is this? This is a 4 by 2.5 so let's do tangent theta p let's find theta p even if we're not asked for it tangent of I'm going to call this angle beta tangent of this angle it's really 2 theta p uh, would be 4 over 2.5 so this angle Beta would be 58 degrees. All right, so beta, I'm starting on my Moore circle at 58 degrees. Um, if it if it had asked for theta p, what's half of this? 29. Uh, but but it didn't ask for that. Okay, here we go. I'm I'm at, at uh, on my Moore circle at 58 degrees. I want to know the state of stress 20 degrees clockwise, so I need to go 40 degrees. So what does that mean? That means I need to go down here at an angle of 18 degrees. You see why it's important to know that you started from 58 degrees so that you'll know where you end up after you go what it tells you to go. Okay, remember one degree or more in one degree in real life equals two degrees on more circle. So I need to go 40 degrees on more circle. And I started at 58 degrees on more circle. So I need to come down here at 18 degrees at more circle. So let me draw this um, triangle right here. This triangle now has an angle of 18 degrees. And I know my hypotenuse is still 4.72. Okay. So if my angle, if I know that angle 18 degrees and I know the hypotenuse, I can find both sides, right? This side would be a cosine 18, 4.72 cosine 18. Let me redraw this down here. An 18 degree angle triangle, 
um, 4.72. So this would be 4.72 cosine 18, 4.72 sine 18. All right, this would be 4.49 and 1.46. Okay. That's, I'm almost there, but that's not that's not my final answer. So, <clears throat> the the final answer is, what are the coordinates of that point right there? What are the coordinates of that point according to my axes? According to my axes. Okay. Um, yes, my y coordinate is one point four six. My new tau tau x prime y prime is 1.46 um, it's actually negative 1.46 because it is up I need some units right there <clears throat> okay but this 4.49 is the base of the triangle but that's not on the axes don't forget don't forget that where we started we didn't start at zero this triangle didn't start at zero this is at 0.5 so it is 0.5 plus 4.49 it is 4.99 is my sigma my new sigma x <coughs> 4.99 ksi there we go <coughs> now my sigma y is on the other side of the triangle over here and so what value is this well you start from the center this is a similar triangle, 18 uh, degrees. It still started 0.5 this way. So you start here at the center and you go to the left, 4.49. So 0.5 minus 4.49, negative 3.99. So sig sigma y, negative 3.99. KSI and and that's that those are my answers. That's the state of stress <coughs> at 20 degrees clockwise. So did you see what we did? See what we did. Drew our axes, drew the starting point right here. Found the center was at the average. Found the distance between the two to find my radius. Uh, go ahead and find these four points up radius, down radius. And then to the right, make sure you start at the center and go add radius to the right, start at the center, add radius to the left. Then you've got four points, you can kind of draw yourself a little circle. And then find the angle that you start from, which is really 2 theta p, find the angle that you start from to know where you need to go to, right? So I found I was starting on more circle 58 degrees, so if I want to go 20 degrees clockwise, I go 40 degrees clockwise on more circle, so then I'm left with an angle of 18 degrees. So I'm down here at an angle 18 degrees <coughs> from the center of more circle. If I know 18 degrees, I know the hypotenuse. I can find the base and height of that triangle, but be careful because the base starts at the center of the circle, not at the zero point, not at zero point. So these need to be measured from the axes, not from the um, base and height of that triangle. Okay, although, yes, this height is always going to, this tau is going to always be the height because your center does start at a height of zero. Okay, so I think this is the hardest part is finding the state of stress at a different angle from um, the original orientation. All right.